and welcome to your gold market update on charts of interest for the 30th of January 2023. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets here to lead you around what's happening in markets today. Let's have a look across the news. Of course, US markets finished the week with positive session on Friday for the PCE data didn't do any harm. Indices are still testing important levels to the upside and the focus this week will be mixed. It'll be continuing to see a ramp up of earnings but of course we've got the fed interest rate decision and of course it's us jobs week as is always the case in the first week of the month so lots for the markets to digest and to see if this recent bullish run will continue us futures are mildly negative in early asian trading and asian indices mix looks as though caution is the order of the day we're seeing chinese markets reopen and they've got some catch-up to do of course the ASX has been choppy since open as around about neutral and is just below that at around about 0.15% to the downside as we record this. European equity futures are pointing to a slightly higher open and the VIX is still below that key 20 level. The US dollar index still looks in trouble against most currencies with the exception of the yen which is having a weaker day. Uh, so against the euro and Aussie we're seeing the US dollar fall again in early Asian trading. Gold is holding 1930, copper is still pausing below 430 and oil is in a short term range and mildly higher in today's early trading. Bitcoin gapped up again as it has done on a Monday fairly regularly over the last few weeks and we're seeing it test at 200 MA. It's sitting just above it in this morning's trading. Of course, as we've already intimated, earnings season continues. In terms of today's data, there's not a massive amount for the markets to digest. We've got German GDP and Eurozone business climate numbers, which are significant today, primarily for the Euro. Obviously, as we've already referenced, the US interest rate decision on Wednesday, global PMI data tomorrow and US jobs are the weekly highlights, culminating, of course, in the non-farm payrolls number on Friday. Let's just have a look at a couple of charts that caught our eye this morning. Uh, we're going to start by looking at the Aussie yen on the hourly chart. Now, there is a short term resistance here around about where the Aussie yen is trading now. So around about this 9560 level. So there is a short term potential up to 93. We think this is the more important and established level. And we'll see this on a daily chart that 93 looks really important. It was the highs back in November. Looks as though we're going to retest that again. So this is the long-term potential target. If we breach that, we could be seeing ourselves crawl towards 94 and 95. Retest October highs. But in the meantime, there is, as we said, a potential short-term opportunity to 93 cents. With stocks, we are still keeping an eye on CSR in the building space. You can see there we've been in uptrend really since the beginning of the year. And to put this into context, if we look on the weekly chart, you can see it has breached a level of interest at around about this sort of 525 level. So it tackled that on Friday. It doesn't look as though it's moving higher with conviction today just yet. But we could certainly see this up around about this 560 level going forward in the medium term. Never a flyer in terms of price movement but undoubtedly one where there's buying pressure in at this stage trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now